We've seen how to use the Jupyter Notebook inside the Google Colab running the normal Python kernel. We've seen also how to run C and C++ code. And we have the um, Xeo Seling kernel. And now we are going to look into another kernel. And it's the Java kernel. So here at github.com Spencer Park iJava, we have a Jupyter kernel for executing Java code. So here you have some examples that you can also launch in Binder. And we have also the documentation about the requirements. So uh, it requires Java JDK greater than 9, but Google Colab environment already has uh, the JDK installed, so this requirement is fulfilled, we don't need to do anything, and then we can install from uh, source or for a pre-built binary. So what I'm going to do is to install for the pre-built binary, so we are going to download this iJava zip from this GitHub, then we are going to unzip Next, we run this install.py to install the kernel into our system. Then we are going to start our Jupyter Notebook at port 13,000. So our Jupyter Notebook should be running in the background and we will do the same procedure as always when we want to run Jupyter Notebooks inside the Google Colab environment. So we are going to use and grok we can connect to port 13,000 then we open our Jupyter notebook 3 and here we see that we have a new Java notebook so we are going to create a new Java notebook then if you go here to the github you find that there are some examples here in this uh, binder and we have here this example so we will simply copy so we are using this um, to import um, external libraries we are going to use a nix chart to plot so we run this uh, here we are creating data Arrays of doubles, then an X chart, and finally we can render this chart in line in our notebook. And voila, we have a chart using Java inside our Jupyter notebook. So this is uh, using the iJava kernel, and we are inside the Google Colab remote environment. So this is one more powerful tool we have um, in our hands now, so we can run Python, R, C, C++, Java, and later on we will start using different kernels such as Node.js, we can have Octave, a list of um, Jupyter kernels available at the Jupyter site documentation and that's it for today see you next time